Welcome to the newsletter, Kherson's Explosion and the Battle that Can Turn the Russia-Ukraine Conflicts. On Channel HT New, Russia and Ukraine appear poised for a fierce battle over Kherson, a front that could decide the outcome of a conflict that has dragged on for more than eight months. T. K. H. E. R. S. O. N. Eight months ago, Kherson was the first major Ukrainian city to fall, not long after Russia launched a special military operation in the neighboring country. More than eight months later, Kherson continues to become a hot front, maybe even the key to decide the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. Kherson, which had a population of 280,000 before the war, is the only capital in the Ukrainian territories that Russia controls. This land is strategically significant for both Russia and Ukraine because of its important location on the Dnipro River, near the mouth of the Black Sea, and as an industrial center with a large river and port. Kherson is also in a position where Ukraine could cut off fresh water from the Dnipro River to Crimea. Kiev blocked these vital supplies after the annexation of Crimea to Russia, and President Vladimir Putin mentioned the need to restore water as a reason behind the decision to launch a military operation. In Ukraine, Ukrainian military analyst Ole Zhinov said, Kherson is a key to the entire southern region, victory will allow Ukraine to target important supply routes for Russian forces. Russia will try to keep the right to control this area by any means. For Ukraine, acquiring Kherson would set the stage for the recapture of the Russian-controlled Zaporizhia region and other parts of the south, and possibly eventually Crimea. The return of Kherson also means that Kiev can cut off water to Crimea again. If they withdraw from Kherson, the Russians will again have problems with fresh water in Crimea. Regaining Kherson is the most likely path for Ukraine to achieve a significant victory in the conflict with Russia and turn the tide of the war in the right way, said Ilya Ponomarenko, war correspondent for Kyiv Independent. For Russia, if it can hold Kherson, this land will create a springboard to help them move into Odessa and Mykolaiv. From there, Russia could cut off Ukraine's access to the Black Sea, turning Ukraine into a landlocked country. Such a move would deal a major blow to the Ukrainian economy. This would also allow Moscow to build a land corridor to Moldova's breakaway Transnistria region, home to a major Russian military base. Ukraine strategy over the course of the past summer, Ukraine's military has waged successive counter-attacks to retake Kherson, one of four regions Russia annexed following September referendums on the breakaway regions. Dot. Ukraine used US-supplied HIMARS missile launches to fire consecutively at an important bridge over the Dnipro River in Kherson, including the Antonivsky and Derivsky bridges. To lose these two lifeline bridges, it will be very difficult for Russia to send more troops and weapons from Crimea to reinforce Kherson city. According to experts, control of the vital waterway is the decisive factor for the pocket-strapped strategy in Kherson because the city is located on the west bank of the Dnipro River, connected to the Russian rear by bridges. Dot. The counter-attacks forced Russia to rely on pontoon bridges and ferries, which were later also targeted by Ukraine. In addition, it disrupted the interconnected network supplying Kherson and Russian forces on the west bank of the Dnipro, leaving them vulnerable to encirclement. In addition, to prepare for the counter-offensive operation in Kherson, Ukraine is said to have also sought to cut off Russia's supply lines from Crimea with raids on ammunition depots and fuel depots on the peninsula in August and September. Moscow's shortage of reinforcements was exacerbated by the October 8 truck bombing that blew up part of the Crimean bridge connecting Russia's mainland to the peninsula. Crimea has served as a major supply hub for Russian forces in southern Ukraine. Most recently, on October 29, Moscow accused Ukraine of being behind a drone attack UAV on ships of Russia's Black Sea Fleet based in Sevastopol, Crimea. The fierce battle, Oleksiy Aristovich, an advisor to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, predicts the fiercest battle is about to take place in Kherson. With Kherson, everything is very clear. Russia is trying to supplement and strengthen its forces. That means that neither side has any intention of withdrawing. On the contrary, the fiercest battle is brewing in Kherson, he said. Military experts say such a battle could take place in the city in the next few days or weeks. Boris Rosen, a Russian military expert, said that Ukraine could attack Kherson in three scenarios. First, Ukrainian forces could attack from the north, from President Zelensky's hometown of Krivoy Roj, to weaken Russian forces on the west bank of the Dnipro River. Second, Ukraine will attack from the east, targeting the Russian rear. 
Sabotage attacks in the rear are very unpleasant and its consequences should not be underestimated, he stressed. Third, Ukraine can choose to advance to the west, towards the city of Mykolaiv. Ukraine has gathered combat-ready units there. In order to overcome the Russian defenses here, Ukraine can conduct an amphibious operation from the Black Sea, Rosen analyzed. On the Russian side, the commander-in-chief of Russia's military operations in Ukraine, General Sergei Surovikin, admitted on October 18 that the situation in Kherson was very tense. Mr. Surovikin said the next plan with Kherson would depend on the situation of the war but did not rule out the possibility that the army would make difficult decisions. He said that Russia's strategy is not to attack at high speed, but to ensure the safety of each soldier and only step by step, crush the enemy's attacking force in order to limit losses, especially for civilians. Often. In recent weeks, officials from the Russian-appointed government in Kherson have repeatedly issued warnings about the danger of Ukrainian troops attacking the city. As of October 26, at least 70,000 Kherson residents had been evacuated by boat from the west to east banks of the Dnipro River. On October 31, the Kherson government continued to announce an extension of the evacuation range by 15 kilometers from the Dnipro River. These signs have fueled speculation that Russia may be preparing to withdraw its troops from Kherson. If Russia's strategy is to fortify a solid defense line before winter, then the possibility of it abandoning the West Bank and returning to the East Bank Dnipro River cannot be ruled out, said Austrian military expert Marcus Riesner. S.A. However, Konrad Muecker, director of defense consulting firm Rocken Consulting in Poland, said that there are still many unpredictable things in Russia's move in Kherson. He pointed out that Russians almost never officially admit that something is wrong or is about to happen. Therefore, there may be a purpose behind the public admission of difficulties in Kherson. Ukrainian defense officials said that the Russian military has no intention of withdrawing from Kherson. Instead, Russia is preparing to defend this city against the momentum of Ukraine's counterattack. The Russian military is sending more units to Kherson and is preparing to defend every street here, said Major General Kirillo Budinov, head of the intelligence agency under the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. According to Budinov, the order to evacuate civilians shows that Moscow can be ready for urban combat. Many sources believe that Russia will send here a large number of reserve soldiers in the near future, after these soldiers finish their training period. In addition, the pro-Russian government in Kherson also announced the creation of a local militia to strengthen the city's defenses. Currently, in the context of Russia seeking to defend Kherson, there are many speculations about a possible scenario at the Kakovka hydroelectric power plant a few kilometers upstream of the Dnipro River. Russia accuses Ukraine of preparing a missile attack on the dam. Kiev has denied it, while Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky accused Russia of plotting to blow up the dam and that if this happened it would entail a major disaster. Time to decide current signs indicate that Ukraine is ready for a decisive battle in Kherson after making important advances on the eastern and northeastern fronts. According to military analysts, Ukraine is trying to get a certain result before winter comes, especially after Russia launched a series of attacks on the energy infrastructure in this country. This is a decisive situation before winter. Operation Kherson will be the most important offensive against Ukraine, said Austrian military expert Marcus Riesner. Winter could pose a major challenge to the momentum of both Russia and Ukraine. When the temperature drops and the cold rains come, the roads and fields will be filled with mud. Then there is a period of snowfall, the ground freezes and hardens, but inclement weather will affect the health and morale of soldiers, reduce the effectiveness of weapons, make logistics difficult. More difficult times. The battle will then become a race of endurance on each side. Yuri Vitrenko, head of Ukraine's National Energy Corporation Naftogaz, warned that the country was facing the harshest winter in history as Russian raids destroyed about Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Dot. It will be the harshest winter in history. We could face intermittent power outages, as well as problems with the heating system, he said. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg also warned last month, winter is coming and winter will be especially difficult on the Ukrainian battlefield. We know the size of the Ukrainian army has tripled compared to last winter. They desperately need more winter uniforms, generators for lighting and heating, they also need tents and other things to help get through the inclement weather. According to experts, winter will be a test for both Ukraine and its Western allies. Meanwhile, 
Russia bets on the belief that Western support for Kiev will fade by winter as economic and energy pressures weigh on the governments of these countries. If Ukraine makes a significant military advance, especially on the Kherson front, Europe may be willing to endure a difficult winter to continue to aid Kiev and punish Moscow. On the contrary, according to New York Times analyst Ross Douthat, if Ukraine's counterattack slows down and the war stalemate lasts, the West will likely have to find ways to promote peaceful solutions such as urging Ukraine accept some Russian concessions. This is because a war of attrition would drain the resources of not only Russia, Ukraine, but the West as well. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, share to support and update the latest videos from the HT News channel.